Hey guys, my name is Andrea from andreaveggie.com. This is my YouTube channel where we talk all about how to make money on Etsy and everything that I've learned from being an Etsy seller full-time for seven years. So that is what this space is all about. If you are trying to learn about Etsy or wanna know more, you're a seasoned seller and you're just, I don't know, you're looking for tips on Etsy, this is the spot to be. So uh, yeah, that's my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about three reasons to sell your handmade items on Etsy. So if you are still thinking, should I sell on Etsy? Um, I have this handmade product that I make. I don't know whether or not I should sell it on Etsy. This video is for you. This is three reasons why I think that Etsy is a very good platform to sell your handmade items on. First things first, the reason why I make the caveat uh, handmade, handmade products is because that is the only item allowed on Etsy. So Etsy, it needs, well, I guess not the only item. It needs to be vintage or handmade or have some handmade element to it, hand, like designed by you, made by you, something like that. So uh, if you are a creative or a vintage collector and you're wanting to start using Etsy as a platform, that's what this video is for. Um, so. The first thing, the first reason why I think that Etsy is a really, really good option, uh, if not the best option, but a really, really good, certainly a very good option for handmade product business owners is that it is easy. So with Etsy, everything is made easy. Everything that you need for e-commerce is is simple and it's it's provided, which is what we're gonna talk about next. But um, it makes listing products, shipping products, talking to your buyers, so simple. So we're gonna dive into each one of those things and just talk about what about it is so easy. So the first things first is setup. Uh, if you have ever tried to set up a WooCommerce site, uh, we, we used to sell on WooCommerce. I have a video explaining why we switched to Shopify uh, and Shopify is way easier than WooCommerce, but I would say that Etsy is easier than both of them. So that's super nice. Um, it, the setup process can be a lot. Um, and with Etsy, that's not the case. You just log in, make an account, and you're like less than a day away from having 10 items listed, ready to go, banner up, and be like launched, which is incredible. Like that's, that is so easy in the internet world, um, like in the world of coding and all these things, none of that's required on Etsy. And so just from the get up, like from the get go, from the, from the start, the whole setup process is just extremely easy on Etsy. So that is that is like the first easy thing, first reason why Etsy is so easy, which is the first reason why I think handmade uh, product business owners should sell on there. The second thing that makes it Etsy so easy is the shipping. On your Etsy backend, it is so easy to print a shipping label uh, and get your packages out to your buyers. So shipping, could not be any simpler in Etsy. The last thing is communication with your buyers. So they have a built-in um, message function basically that makes communication with your buyers about their orders and their buyers can contact you and you can contact them. Uh, super, super, super simple. So that is so clutch. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention uh, in the easy category is the payment processing. So I forgot about that. Um, no, no like setup of Stripe or anything like that with Etsy. It's just log in, create an account. I think you have to link your bank account to accept credit cards. I don't remember, I did it so long ago. Um, and then you're accepting payments, credit cards, PayPal, the whole thing. Super, super, super simple on Etsy. So that is a huge deal um, and makes just makes the setup, the shipping, the processing, the, the comboing, the managing of your product business super, super simple. So that is definitely the first reason that I think handmade product business owners should consider Etsy a viable option is because it's easy. The second reason is that it is very inexpensive. So very often I hear people say, Etsy fees are so expensive, Etsy charges so much for fees and all these things, which uh, is, kind of true, their fees are more than our Shopify fees. Uh, that is completely fair and accurate. Definitely costs more per order for us to sell on Etsy as it does for Shopify, um, or than it does for Shopify, I should say. But the overall, especially when you're starting out, it cannot be beat that you're not paying a monthly fee, you're not paying a hosting fee, you're not paying a setup fee, you're not buying a theme, you're not you're not you're not buying anything to start except for a 20 cent listing fee, which is completely nuts. That is 
almost unheard of um, in this internet age of e-commerce, besides like eBay, which is, you know, same difference, but um, it's almost unheard of. And so you get your own little corner of the internet, your own little corner of Etsy for 20 cents to list something, which is just nuts. So that, I think all things considered, if you take into account everything that would come with the setup cost of starting your own new website, Etsy is very inexpensive, which is which is just amazing. So one thing I do wanna to toss in here um, is that I have a free opt-in for an Etsy fee calculator. If you are worried about those Etsy fees, it calculates the Etsy fees per listing at the listing level. So you can download that, I'll link it in the description below, but it's really handy for knowing what the Etsy fees are. Um, and I'll just be straight with you guys, they are more than Shopify. But like I mentioned, I just think that when you're talking about setup, like when you're talking about setting up and, oh my gosh, especially WooCommerce, it just is so expensive to set up a shop for WooCommerce or even Shopify. I think we paid $350 for a theme on Shopify. And so it's just, it's a lot, like it's a lot of money. It's a lot of upfront costs and you just don't have that with Etsy. And so that's another reason why I definitely think that um, Etsy is a really, really viable option for handmade pro uh, product business owners. The third and final reason, which is the biggest reason by far, is that Etsy has a built-in market. So I will explain what I mean by that, but basically uh, one thing you need to know before I even start talking about this is that we have been on, Saltwater Prep has been in existence for seven years. It used to be a different name, but basically this business of mine has been in existence for seven years. And we have an Etsy shop and we have a Shopify site. We used to have WooCommerce. We have our own website. We have Etsy website. Still, even to this day, we get probably 95% of our orders through Etsy. And that would probably be a, a conservative estimate. So basically I'm saying that we get most of our orders through Etsy. All of our external marketing efforts, so anything we do on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, which isn't a ton because we're getting so much from Etsy, um, is linked to Shopify. Any email list stuff, all linked to our Shopify sites because like I mentioned, we did get those, uh, they are lower fees. Everything else, so everything, everything that we sell on Etsy is coming from Etsy. And so what I mean by the third reason being that Etsy has a built-in market is that Etsy is already bringing so many customers to uh, to their platform every day that are looking for what you sell and they're looking for a handmade product um, and they're already bringing it in. So I kind of like, I sort of compare it and I know it's not exactly comparable. It would be like if Target had a thousand different things, but I compare it to like if Target was like, hey, we have a store that has millions of sellers, but we get billions of visitors a year. Do you wanna have a spot in it? And you'd be like, no one would say no. Of course you'd say yes. Do you do want to have a spot in it for 20 cents? You, 20 cents an item, you can have a spot in our store. You'd be like, sign me up. Definitely, I want to do that. And so that is like my biggest, biggest, biggest reason for when people ask like, what should I sell it on? Not only is it easier, not only is it cheaper, uh, which are just benefits to you. It is also, they bring in so many customers. And if you can nail your Etsy SEO, you will get, I mean, in our experience, we would have so many less orders if we weren't on Etsy. Um, majority of our orders do come through Etsy. So I strongly recommend selling on Etsy. If you are someone who already has your own website and you're wondering, should I sell on Etsy in addition to Shopify? You already know my answer because I've already told you, I think you should. That's what we do. We sell on Etsy and Shopify, uh, linking all external, all of our own marketing efforts to our Shopify site and really trying to nail Etsy SEO. So, um, on this channel, there'll be a lot of videos about SEO and tips and stuff like that for Etsy, but my biggest, my biggest, this is my biggest reason for considering Etsy a very, very viable, uh, very good, possibly even the best option for handmade product business owners uh, is that they bring so many people to the platform every day that are looking for handmade products that from small business owners like you. So those are the three reasons why I think handmade product business owners should sell their handmade items on 
Etsy. Uh, that being said, if you are into Etsy content, you want to learn more about selling on Etsy and all the questions and all the things, um, this channel is dedicated exclusively to that. It's sharing all of my knowledge about being a small business owner, an e-commerce seller, and specifically an Etsy seller. So if you're interested in that, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Thank you so much for watching.